going to show you is just how my microgreens are getting on. You may well remember um, about, I don't know, a while ago, I guess three, four weeks ago maybe, I sowed some microgreens um, in a little white pot. In this little white pot, well, They've been sitting on the windowsill in the kitchen and they seem to be doing absolutely fantastically. They obviously like it on there. You grow them exactly the same way as you would grow cress. So they're big enough now. They're about an inch and a half-ish tall. <clears throat> so they're about ready to pick. Um, and I have sown some more and I'll show you those in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so basically when you pick these, you can either get a pair of scissors or if you just want to try one, then you can just nip them off. Hopefully if you've got some form of nail, mine do tend to be quite short because of all the gardening, um, but basically what you need to do is you need to sort of pull it back very carefully and just nip at the bottom there. And if it doesn't come out, then the whole lot will come out, but that's fine because you're going to have that one anyway. So we'll just pull the, the bottom bit off, the rooty bit off, because we don't want that. And then you can either put these in sandwiches or on a salad, or you can just do what I'm going to do and just eat them. Oh, they're really nice. They're uh, oh, they're quite spicy, quite peppery. They taste a bit like um, uh, watercress. So if you like watercress, then you'll like these. They're really, really nice. They would go really well in a sandwich. They'd give it a little, a little bit of an oomph. But I've sown some more and I sowed these uh, about three days ago. Now this is a container, it's got holes in the bottom there. Now you get these from the supermarket and you usually get, I don't know, you could get strawberries in them. I got tomatoes in mine because my tomatoes aren't ready yet so I have to go and buy them I'm afraid. They don't taste halfway near as nice as mine. But don't throw the pots away. <clears throat> um, I don't know why my voice always goes every time I start filming. Um, save the pots and then you can sow um, some seeds in them. Now if they do have holes in the bottom, because I've got this on the windowsill, I don't want the water running through. So I've put some kitchen towel on the bottom and then I've just put some compost on and then I've put some more uh, seeds on the top. These are microgreens. I've also done exactly the same with some cress as well. So they're sitting there. So when I've eaten all of these, then hopefully these will be ready so I can have an ongoing process of them. So that's how they got on. I hope you found that useful and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.